Hey, what's up fellow trade geniuses? This is Philip, and I wanted to do a quick recap on the overnight uh, USDJPY trade and uh, also take a look at our swing that we currently uh, got filled on on the Aussie Yen. So USDJPY, great trade. Once again, we were only in it for probably a little over 20 minutes. Uh, I think I saw some people get filled really good on that. Um, the instructions were to, to get in at either 114.58 or 114.54. If the 54 didn't fill, I think some of you did get some of that in the high 50s. Um, otherwise, uh, the 58 was there for quite a bit to get into. And that is probably the trickiest part of when I fire off the signal for the overnight um, USD yen trade is getting that entry. You have to assume it's a green bar um, when I'm signaling that out. That's the premise. So you're really trying to get, I mean, even if you get, you could have even gotten, uh, you know, 114.62. That would have been good too. But you, you really, if the bar probability is that it's going to end green, then you're really getting safe by getting below the opening print. Opening print uh, was here, right, at 114.60. So. 114.58, some of you even got in at 114.54. So good job on that. Anyway, this this pulled back a little bit, which is pretty normal. Normally on the turn of the top of the hour trade like that, um, you'll get an initial move and a pullback, and then the move for the hour starts to establish itself. This came up, uh, took out the previous highs, and at this level here, um, we basically called out to take profit. So you should have got out at 94, 95, somewhere in that area. Um, but but excellent job on the trade, and uh, it was it was nice. Those are nice when you're only in them for about 20 to 25 minutes tops. Uh, and at that point, there's no sense in, in sticking around. If you can take that much profit, you just take it uh, and and pat yourself on the back. Nice trade. Good job taking the signal on that. Okay, so the Aussie yen. Let's take a look at that. Our signal has was for 86.40. Obviously, we're above that now, so it's filled. And uh, so we'll look for this move to end up rolling over and then start heading back down. And our expiration is 3 p.m. tomorrow. Well, today for most of you. Uh, so about 12 hours from now. And, you know, again, we're looking for a condition where it's popping out of a channel, okay? And so we have a bit of a channel established here, kind of an up channel, but it's breaking above. Uh, to put that into perspective, we can just draw some lines. Actually, I need to draw a trend line. So, <clears throat> you know, we're looking at, actually what I was looking at was more or less like here. Um, And then, you know, the parallel lines kind of like that. So, kind of looking like for the, you know, again, at one too many lines here, but so what we're looking at is kind of a breakout extension of out of the channel, and that's just basically an oversold condition. And I'm just giving you a very rough picture. There's a little bit more to to what goes on with these signals, these swing signals, but. In any case, um, things are kind of going as per plan here. Um, it is even possible that this runs up to 8660, and personally, I will add there. Uh, but we're not going to signal that out. So if you guys feel like you want to add to the position, you can. I would add at the money, 45 or better. But the reason uh, I'm seeing that is because that takes us to this level here. 86.60. As you can see, it's a support and resistance line. Um, it was unclear if we were going to get into the trade uh, or if this level is going to get reached. It was struggling up in here. But 86.60 was the initial strike I had tweeted out. And that was depending. Sometimes those Aussie dollar moves can get a, a really big pop, especially the unemployment ones. Those things can, can are notorious for missing, and you'll get 
a really big spike. So I was hoping with tweeting that out that we would get an initial spike to, to 86.60 and then a fade because that's a lot of times that's what happens. So it didn't happen. So now we're just kind of doing a slow grind up. But this is overextended territory. Um, I think if it does get this high, 86.60, I think that's going to be the lid on it. At least that's that's the read on this. And uh, then we'll look for it to roll over. And it may not get that high. It may start rolling over before uh, before then. So we will update you guys in the morning on that. So that's about it for now. We didn't really have much of anything going on during the day. Uh, there was the CAD announcement, which bumped up the CAD. And actually, that was another one we had a signal on. Let's bring that up. Where are you? I have all the Nadex pairs in, on this screen. So, okay, so here I wanted us to take 3280 initially, but what I was looking for was a, a move up to it and getting tagged. <clears throat> what we have here now is we've got this support area. Okay, so now we've got this support area at 70. And so what I didn't want to do was get into this because CAD, is, CAD can move. So, so this is the... This is the move from the Canada Central Bank, right? So this, uh, and all of these lately have just been up and stay up type of moves off these press conferences. So I, I wanted to be up here higher. There is going to be some um, high impact uh, news, uh, CAD news uh, in the morning around 8.30, 8.30 Eastern. So I'm really kind of um, wanting to stay off of this until that gets out of the way. The play was hopefully that that got uh, 3280 got tagged and then pulled back and then we get out at the 7 a.m. strike. Just the price action here with this now being support, not a lot of room for 3280. Uh, I'm, we're just going to stay off of it. We'll see what the, the economic report does. Anything above this is going to continue to be overextended, and we might be able to fade that after the fact. So but we'll, I, the prudent thing is to stay off of that. If it does, if it's a bad economic report and this dumps, so be it. I'd rather be waiting in the wings, empty-handed, than underwater. And so I don't want to expose you guys to that risk. Um, that's it for now. So we'll we'll be cruising in the AJ for a few hours or 12 more hours, and unless we can get out early, we'll take an early uh, profit exit. Um, but other than that, we got inauguration coming up, and uh, Thursday's typically a little quiet on the Forex front. However, this week's a little squirrely, so if we don't get any intraday signals, that's just be, be prepared for that. Uh, again, we don't want to overtrade, especially when the environment's volatile, and it definitely is that this week. So if premiums are increased by the market makers to reflect what I'm seeing for volatility and I do see some um, opportunities that are safe for you guys I, I'll, I'll tweet those out but I'm not gonna not gonna get aggressive at all this week so that's about it for now um, thanks for watching leave me comments below and if you're just browsing uh, subscribe to the channel because we release videos every day they're free and they're informational for you guys so hopefully it helps with your trading all right take care guys bye